Here we go, the primal suite, and today I want to share with you my plans for my US adventure. So I continue to develop my plans, and I'm having my smoothie at the same time. So this is ginger, cocoa, uh, whey, protein, uh, creatine, I think I have raw egg, and I have some synobiotic, that's like probiotics for the, the gut. That's pretty good. Ah, my cold is kind of better, I feel I have more energy. My nose is not as constipated either, so I, I have decided that I'm healthy now. I have decided that I am uh, I don't have a cold anymore. I even took a cold bath uh, today, but it's not really cold because I just put, put new water in. So it's like, I think it said like 20 degrees. <laughs> That's like a summer bath actually. So I took a summer bath now in February. Anyhow, I wanted to share with you today like the latest updates on my, my biking adventure and I'm also checking uh, like entry requirements to the US, uh, vaccine mandates and stuff. I haven't completed my, my vaccination program, so let's see what happens. So I'm try of, kind of thinking how to regard my US adventure. Will it actually take place or, or won't it or what will actually happen? But I just learned that the House of Representatives, they just passed a new bill. So most likely they will just cancel and lift all restrictions in the US. And I also heard Joe Biden declared it on the 11th of May. That's the end of the pandemic. And I'm pretty sure I've had like COVID if a, a number of times so i'm probably i'm probably naturally uh, immune against it anyhow i will put that part into my risk analysis which i will also share so you know covid uh, illness uh, what happens if i if there's an accident on my adventure what can pose a risk and sort of be an obstacle or stop the adventure itself and how will I deal with it you know so I have kind of this risk analysis uh, a sort of a matrix uh, which I will also share how I work with uh, such you know uh, happenings or events you know. anyhow I wanted to share this today so let's see if I can share my screen so what I've been doing today it's it's still the same map so this is the map and I did some changes from LA to kind of through up here to this place like the Monument Valley and Navajo Na Nation of Reservation Trust Land and up to Pueblo. So I, I made some changes in this, in this part. So what I was thinking is because I like in the previous plan I ended up in Las Vegas I went north but I realized maybe it, it could be a cool thing to see Grand Canyon and Grand Canyon it's it's kind of in this area right and this area where I, I put this point of interest the POI that's um, kind of that's where they have the scenic views and stuff I'm, I'm pretty sure you can see Grand Canyon from from this area uh, as well I guess but I thought okay what if I do a detour instead of going north I go south so instead of heading to Las Vegas I've been to Las Vegas before so I'm I'm not sure if I will go to Las Vegas I head east and I end up here Grand Canyon National Park I take a look at the Grand Canyon and then I go north northeast and here you have the the Monument Valley the Ol Olhato Monument Valley that's where you have these cool looking mountains let's see if i can find one of the images okay so i'm looking for an image uh, duh, 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 duh. that's that's the one that's the one so that's the place you know i kind of want to go to that place and take a look at these cool superbly <laughs> cool looking mountains so that's pretty cool um, and then I, I'm head, and then I kind of 
end up on the same. I kind of continue east and then in Pueblo it reconnects with the previous plan and then I just head head east, right? So that's the plan for, for that part. And also in my adventure planning I have this thing, right? Let's see. So this is so those on the left, kind of this, let's see, this column, oh, these two, that's what my, my friend did, like 34 days, averaging 170k a day, two days of rest, and here on the right hand instead, I have my potential plan, right? So day one, and I marked to say, okay, day one till day 34, and on this column here I have my vacation days so I have more vacation days than I estimate it will take to bike across the US so I have 34 days but I could potentially stretch it out for 43 days in total right so that's pretty cool but my idea is to finish the adventure the adventure by day 34 and well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I guess, I guess kind of what I want to show here is kind of I need to have the route and then I need to have an esti estimation of how many days I have in total and then another estimation of how many kilometers will I do each specific day. And based on that, I can go back into my map. I won't do this now, but I will do it later. And I can measure you see here down on the left it says like 122 and then it can measure okay so kilometer 200 i would be just north i would be just north of la so probably that's where i will be on day one say and then i can just stick everything together and i can look for like a campsite accommodation or something uh each like 200k 400k or whatever and and then it's just easier to plan and I can see, you know, if everything kind of holds up, right? So that's what I wanted to show you today. Uh, that's it. Let's let's see what happens. And, you know, in the next few days with the, with the COVID and everything. So stay strong, stay powerful and, and, and build your dream adventure. Bam.